At present, servers have become an integral part of our lives on the Internet. Without servers, we would be unable to do much, so today, let's compare which is better. Windows Server or Linux Server A Linux server is a type of server operating system built on the Linux kernel. Windows is based on a monolithic architecture, meaning the entire operating system is loaded into memory during startup. The first and very important parameter is performance. Linux can handle multiple tasks simultaneously and sustain high loads. So compared to Windows Server, Linux has superior performance. Additionally, Linux Server offers the ability to optimize system resources. Its more efficient file system enables the processing of large volumes of data without compromising performance. Recently, Windows Server has also made significant improvements in handling simultaneous requests effectively. Built-in tools such as Performance Monitor and Resource Monitor allow real-time performance tracking. While Linux is the better choice in terms of performance, Windows Server can be ideal if you need specific features and applications available only on Windows. Next is another critical parameter, security. Linux is considered very secure due to its open-source nature. Since Linux OS has a modular architecture, it is less susceptible to viruses and can be isolated and protected individually. Because of Windows' widespread use and popularity, servers running on Windows are often targeted. Although Microsoft invests heavily in Windows Server security, adding built-in features like Windows Defender, BitLocker, PowerShell, and Active Directory to help mitigate threats, Linux servers are not far behind. They also have robust built-in security features, making it even more challenging for hackers. When comparing security, Linux Server is generally regarded as more secure than Windows Server. Looking at these servers from a commercial perspective, you may be immediately attracted by the fact that Linux is known for its free software, which can significantly reduce costs at the initial stages. Windows Server has a higher cost, and the price often depends on the number of users, which can lead to substantial expenses, especially for large companies. Let's now discuss the pros and cons of Linux and Windows servers. Starting with the advantages of Linux Server, the first benefit is customization, which can be almost entirely tailored to individual needs. Next is security and performance. Lastly, Linux Server is cost-effective, as it can be downloaded and used for free. However, there are also disadvantages. Firstly, the interface is quite complex and requires familiarity with the command line and various software applications. Compatibility can also be an issue, as some applications may not be compatible with the operating system. Furthermore, Linux Server lags behind Windows in terms of support. The support level for Windows Server is very high, especially for commercial applications. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of Windows Server. Starting with the advantages, the first is its familiar and user-friendly interface, which is easy to learn. Another advantage is optimization for Windows applications. The operating system is designed for seamless operation of Windows applications, making it ideal for organizations that rely heavily on Microsoft software, such as Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Additionally, with Active Directory, Administrators can easily manage access to resources. The downsides include the cost of the license, which can be quite expensive, vulnerability to threats, and significant limitations in flexibility.